tonight's tactical enhancement is a porter. We're playing Warhammer, 8th edition. 1600 points of uh, Dark Elves versus Mark's Wood Elves. All right, talk us through what you got. Uh, so I've got a level four life mage, which is the one with the little gimp, the green guy in green that I borrowed off you. All right, yes. Uh, a level two beast mage, which is standing next to him. One of the guys flexing his abs. Yeah, then we've got um, a branch waste, level one li uh, life mit wizard. Ah, yes. Core is 11 dryads and two sets of um, uh, glade guard. Oh, yep, so here's some of the glade guard. Um, the, then we've got uh, five there. wild riders here. All right, so they're custom, they're actually something else, but uh, they're wild riders for yep. today. Um, four warhawk riders. Yeah, he's looking the part. Uh, six way watchers and a tree man. Okay. Treeman, look at that beautiful bastard there. All right, that's what you get for 1600 points. Uh, and the Dark Hills is the same as I've been fielding the last few games. We've got five Coldborn Riders, 25 Corsairs, being led by Elvira, if I can get her in focus, at level four again. Uh, both of the Hydras and way out on the other side of the table because I didn't know what else to do with them we've got two units of ten crossbow who will probably run up as fast as they can to get in the buildings uh, the thing about Dark Hills versus Wood Elves I found is the Wood Elves outrange the Dark Hills so you've really got to run up with your uh, crossbows fast otherwise you're just going to be getting shot at all day for no reply and the mission we're playing is Battle for the Pass. So we're playing Lengthways, uh, which we didn't know we were going to be playing when I set up the table, but it seems to have worked out rather well. Okay, so we're going to roll a dice for uh, turn one, and we'll get into it. Let's see who goes first. Uh, three's to beat, five. Well, that's lucky. We'll check in at the end of uh, Dark Elf turn one. In Dark Elf turn one, everyone here moved up as fast as they can to get somewhat closer to the uh, Wood Elf lines. And over here, the Dark Hills ran forward as fast as they can to try and get a range of something to shoot next turn. Uh, those chaps at the end there, I think, are in that building. Um, and the mage, Alvaro herself, hocked a chill wind or some such thing. Uh, 2d6 strength, two hits at uh, this fella. And we actually managed to bump a wound off of him. I, did, I didn't even roll very well. Fortunately, Mark rolled even worse. So now it's over to the Wood Elves, turn one. Right, end of turn one. Both sides have had a go, and the Wood Elves did what Wood Elves do, and they shot lots of bows at people. Uh, these guys flew in behind the Dark Elf line. Uh, these guys shored up their line ready for combat. Bit of magic came out, buffing the Dryads, so I just have to make sure that if I pick a fight, this turn is done with the Dryads. Uh, then these uh, Way Watchers hopped some armor-piercing arrows and bumped off two of the uh, Colburn Riders. I don't have to remember the Colburn Riders being only toughness three, I think they are. Just a little bit vulnerable to anything armor-piercing. Then a whole lot of poison arrows Hopped over this way and started taking wounds off the uh, yeah the hydras, so we'll try and heal some of those up in the next uh, turn, and uh, hopefully we'll um, keep them hale and healthy until we hit the combat. Now over to the dark elves, turn two. We'll check in after that. Right, turn two, dark elves. So maneuver. We decided to move the crossbows to shoot at these guys. And they did. They bumped off one and plumped an extra wound on. Uh, one of these fellows. Move these fellows up at the charge, or the, the march, and uh, we move the hydras up at the march, and they can still use their breath weapons. Ah, now that gap there 
is where we tried to charge the remaining um, what they call one riders at these fellows who proceeded to snipe the shit out of them and I rolled a whole lot of fuck all for armour and they died without doing a damn thing. Uh, we completely fucking failed to regenerate any wounds on the uh, Hydra. That's not good. Uh, they did burn some of these guys and force some panic chests, but the elves are rolling well today. And uh, I did do a lovely job of hocking out a really powerful spell that would have fucked up these guys nicely, but there uh, turned out to be a dispel scroll flapping around in the wood elf list, and that didn't work. So we'll see how much carnage the uh, woodies can inflict on the dark elves' turn, and then we'll see what our prospects are for uh, sustaining this combat after that. We'll check in in a minute. Right, end of turn two, the Wood Elves about to go, and my fucking lord, are they lethal. Uh, over here, a bunch of shots have ripped this unit down to the last six guys. Um, over here, right, the Tree Lord barreled into one of the um, Hydra and tree whacked the fucking thing, and uh, I don't think you took any wins in reply to that, did you? He saved it on his six up. Mm, his ward. That was a fucking... Well, I'm sure from the Wood Elf perspective that would have looked heroic. Uh, and the other Hydra, and both of these Hydras completely fucking failed to regenerate any of their wounds this game. Uh, the other one got the shit shot out of it by all that um, archery base of fire. And he, uh, yeah. Those, uh, those archers there have accounted for an awful lot of miniatures this game. Uh, magic phase, I think... Uh, we dispelled one thing with the uh, tree man, this increased strength of toughness, that didn't really matter. And oh, yeah, uh, the two of those um, way watchers returned from the dead with a bit of uh, life magic. Now, I've got to figure out what the fucking hell to do with the dark elves, and I think it may involve running away over there and charging headlong into a stupid ass combat here. Anyway, I'll check in at the end of uh, turn three for the dark elves. Well, that was eventful. Um, over here, we marched these guys out of the charge arc of these guys. And then these lovely chaps in the building there dumped 40 shots onto these guys, killed two. I rolled a fuckload of ones. Uh, the magic, I, I've been rolling absolute dismal. It's been like three or four dice a turn, uh, most of my turns. Um, so the spell which we hopped up, in fact the marks uh, got three mages, so they ended up with more to spell dice than I had casting dice. Um, so nothing much happened there. We then charged these chaps into the treeman who'd overrun, to get just that little bit closer, that made him an easy charge. Probably would have been able to get him anyway, mm -hmm. that dice roll would have helped. Okay, so I lost four guys and I did no wounds to this thing. But he rolled badly on his morale and he legged it. We chased, we didn't quite catch him. He was very enthusiastic to run away. So uh, I'm sure they'll be giving him grief for that for a long time. No, no tree's gonna want his acorns. Uh, and these guys overran into the dryads. So I've got to hope that I get a lot of dispels and the dryads do not get supercharged. But it's a lot better than getting the fucking shit shot out of me by these assholes who have managed to wipe out everything else thus far. Yeah. And that is it for Dark Elf turn three. All right, well, it's all happening now. It's the, uh... God, what fucking turn are we in? Yeah, bottom of turn three. So it's the uh, Wood Elves bottom of turn three. And what happened? Well, these guys maneuvered over here. What was left of those guys moved over there. Ah, in the magic phase, we dispelled some stuff, but these uh, dryers still got buffed with a uh, five plus ward and uh, plus one strength and toughness, which makes a big difference when you're up against toughest three elves. Now these chaps pop some poison arrows at these guys and cause them to run away. In the melee, well, well, in the magic phase, actually, you might notice this this unit slightly depleted. Uh, the level two mage managed to, well, box cars, then a three on the dispel table, 
Uh, you survive the strength 10 hit, unlike something like four other elves around him. That's why that unit is depleted. Uh, and after rolling a one for the wound, he had the decency to get sucked into a vortex by a demon or some shit, and that motherfucker is gone. And once again, Mark's doing more damage to himself than I am. Um, in the melee, we bumped off four of these supercharged dryers, which wasn't bad. But, um, well, they rolled off a storm and killed eight of the uh, Corsairs. Uh, so the Corsairs lost by one. But they're sticking around, we're still in the fight. Mm. Might have to dispel all those buffs in my own magic face. They're doing me a disservice. Um, yeah, into turn four. It's only halfway through the game with the bloodbath already. So into turn four next, and we'll check in partway through that. Oh yeah, and one other thing. The tree man failed to rally. Uh, he's still running. One can only hope that he keeps running because that's pretty much the only thing saving my bacon at the moment. Okay, this is the state of play halfway through turn four. Uh, these chaps rallied and didn't do much. These chaps are still going like a fucking machine gun and they wasted um, one of these guys with an extra couple of wounds left over. And over here, these chaps, uh, like we, we spent Got a decent number of casting dice, and we put a fair bit of them into Dispel, and we got rid of the extra toughness and strength off of the uh, Dryads. Uh, I completely fucking failed to get rid of the 5 plus ward save, but we did just enough carnage that um, for the loss of a couple of these guys, we uh, chased off the Dryads and ran them down. So that was okay. Uh, I tried to cast some spells, they didn't work. Um, basically because I put too many dice into dispelling, but that made the difference. We're now still in the game basically purely by virtue of the fact that we got rid of the triads. It's pretty touch and go for the Dark Elves at the moment. There's not many of them left. But, game on. It's uh, turn four for the Woodies now. Let's see what happens. Right, Wood Elves turn four. Magic was once again... Three on 2d6, uh, but they still managed to regen one of the uh, cavalry uh, who charged these chaps in the back when they were still facing the other direction. Uh, look, uh, these guys charged in the flank and they're not positioned correctly because they keep falling over on our bloody heels. Um, it was a lucky turn for the Dark Elves, even though we lost three of the uh, crossbow over there. Um, Basically, the assassin finally pulled his thumb out and fucking did something for a change, and he bumped off three of the cavalry before they had a chance to attack. Um, in the remaining flurry, I lost two of the uh, Corsairs all up, but we also bumped off the last of the um, uh, cavalry. Did nothing against the birdies, but it was just enough to make it a tie, and then we got a musician. Uh, so we've done a combat reform face the birdies who are just, you know, imagine they're there. We don't want them falling over all the time. It's now the Dark Elves' turn five. They're still barely hanging on. Uh, a slightly less fortunate turn of events is this, you know, brave fellow, we'll call him Sir Robin, finally fucking turn around to fight again. So we'll see what happens in uh, Wood Elf turn five. It could end rather badly. Anyway, it's, um, oh man, what a bloodbath. I don't have very many Dark Elves left. <laughs> right, the Dark Elves are still hanging on by the skin of their teeth. This turn, they shot up a couple of these guys. Uh, they cast a spell, which... Oh, that's right. Yeah, so they, they passed their paint test. Then the Way Watchers took Chill Wind, lost a couple of guys, and fled. A lot of panic tests are happening in this game, but it takes an awful lot to actually kill anything. Um, and then we uh, fought the last couple of birdies and the assassin uh, did what the assassin does actually, you know, properly. Yeah, unfortunately those birdies copped an awful lot of strength. Three hits. So they're dead, but that does leave us <sighs> facing that motherfucker who's almost certainly going to make the charge distance any second now. Right, well the tree man just overcompensated for his earlier indiscretion. 
Uh, after those archers shot at those crossbow and killed another one, uh, these way watchers uh, redeemed themselves, or sort of. These, I guess they're way watchers. Nobody would have seen them run away in the first place, but they slunk back anyway. Uh, and the mage got oh, thrown a vines off, unfortunately, and then another spell and buffed the shit out of the treeman. Not that he needed it. He then went and stomped on about five or so of these chaps. Then they fled. Actually, it might be the best thing for it, all things considered. Uh, lost the standard in the process. We've taken him off. And all we've got left is these poor fuckers. You better rally because it's now turn six for the Dark Elves. Uh, okay, so a little bit of shooting of those guys did fuck all. These chaps rallied and I was saying, oh, we need a rally. It's going to make or break the game because the mage can cast magic if you rally. So in the continuing theme of the Dark Elves having fucking forgotten where the magic comes from in the uh, Warhammer world, we rolled two casting dice, which uh, is all fucking dispelled at the end of it anyway. So that was that. We did nothing this turn. It's now turn six. And unless the Wood Elves Mage kindly explodes or something, I think it's going to go very badly for the Dark Elves. Right, well, after all of that, this fellow charged in. There was a bit of shooting, he didn't achieve much. Uh, he uh, did what Treeman do. We took a wound off of him, and he tried to stomp on Elvira. He gave him, he saved with all the wards and gave him a wound back. But even though my characters managed to survive the Thunder Stomps and the Whopper Great Big Sword attacks, they still lost the combat by one, rolled terribly for leadership, and fucking scarpered and managed to escape by like one inch. But they still count as destroyed because it's turn six, it's the end of the game. And we're just doing the maths and the points, but it's looking a little lopsided. Right, well, we've done the math. Uh, something like 1,300 and 60 odd points of uh, Dark Elf stuff were destroyed, not counting 25 points for standard. Uh, I'm not sure if we count the general as dead or not because they're they're running away. Um, so they technically counts destroyed, and I suppose you had another 100 points. In contrast, it was 500 and something points worth of dead Wood Elves because, well, basically, you don't count units that are only half destroyed the way you used to in previous editions. So there's a whole shitload of seriously damaged units with um, fuck all guys left or, you know, partially uh, partially damaged who are accruing very little points. The classic trope in victory point systems where you've just murdered a lot of people but you don't get any bloody uh, award for it. Unless you're Dark Elf, in which case you're just happy that you murdered a fuckload of other elves. <laughs> so, what have we learned? Um, what I've learned is Wood Elves are pretty fun, but they're also a complete glass cannon, and if you get them in the wrong spot, they just die. Yep. Treeman, um, Treeman aren't as brave as they should be, but he came back in the end. Yep. Yes, uh, there's going to be some interesting conversation in the woods about that fellow, I think. And, well, I figure these guys, nobody noticed. Maybe they'll just call it tactical. Um... They, they weren't as good as I thought they were going to be, but maybe I didn't use them right. Well, they they did smash... The cold ones. Two cold ones right mm. up front. And uh, they would have done it again if um, the other chaps hadn't got them first. Mm. So they are absolutely lethal against cold ones, because cold ones are only like toughness three, so that's actually pretty scary. Um, normally my Dark Hills do reasonably well. Um, this game really highlighted my over-reliance on my level 4 mage actually doing a job. Because you got rubbish spells and you got rubbish casting dice. I did. I got um, shafted on all fronts on the magic, uh, which is, you know, 300 odd points worth of fuck all going on. Um, but, you know, this unit is still the only one that actually achieves anything. Uh, my other two... Let's see, the uh, cold ones got shot up on the way in. Uh, one of the Hydra got shot up on the way in. The other Hydra got jumped on by the Treeman. My regen saves for the Hydras just didn't work at all. I got none of them back. We did kill a bit with flames, and I was quite a panic test all over the place, but nothing mm. was fucking running away. Well, Treeman briefly. Um, yeah, in the meantime, the Corsairs 
had an absolute field day. Pretty much every, every point that I got out of this game was either from your mage blowing up or it's from my Corsairs doing the hard lifting. Uh, <laughs> I should have, I should have um, cast Thread of Vines every time and then I've got the miscast protection and I didn't do that. True, but he's more a beast, that fella. Oh yeah, but oh, I suppose it's not the unit, is it? It's the actual... Yeah, it's the actual mage. Yeah. Um, but your magic, uh, look, it wasn't overpowering, but it was effective here mm. and there, and that mm. made a bit of a difference. Yeah. As, as it should, I suppose, it's balanced. Mm. Um, these are from my wooden collection that we uh, brought to the fray today. Uh, I suppose they're wood elves, they're capricious fuckers, they will be enemies from time to time. Well, look, it's, it's not very often that we actually play a game through to an absolute victory or loss. Uh, this one's pretty fucking clear cut, unfortunately, just not in my favour. Um, I think the lengthways deployment really helped me because yeah. I outranged you. You had to come at me. That's true. I didn't have much scope for doing long range flank attacks. Like mm. uh, I thought maybe they would be running through the trees and a side to side battle, but mm. that, yeah, that would be useful for you anyway, I suppose. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I did have advantages like being in the building up there was yeah. really useful. Um, still caused some damage. It was a tight fit. Well, that's true, they would have been snuggling. But, uh, yeah, fuck it. It's, uh, what, what was he said earlier? It's like trying to stick 10 space marines in a rhino. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, look, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit like, subscribe, all that guff. We try and get games in whenever we can in between uh, tantruming preschoolers and all that sort of silliness. Uh, and... Fuck knows what time it is, but I think it is time to call it a night.